Hi, in this series of videos, I'm going to explain about RF Transceiver LoRa chipset, which is designed by SimTech company. The manufacturer part number is SX1262. The first part of these videos is about introduction and pin configuration. Let's get started. Let's review the specification of the chipset. SX1262 is top Giga Radio Transceivers, which is designed by SimTech Corporation Company. SX1262 can transmit up to plus 22 dBm with highly efficient integrated power amplifiers. SX1262 support LoRa modulation for LP1 use cases and FSK modulation for legacy use cases. Frequency coverage from 150 to 960 MHz which is vary from country to country. Current consumption in receive mode is 4.6 mA and in transmit mode is 118 mA. It can support a SPI interface to communicate with the host devices. The chipset has a tiny package QFN24, which is easy to solder this chip uh, manually. So these are the pin out of uh, chipset. So first section, we have a SPI section, uh, which has, uh, we have clock, master output slave input and master input slave output and chip select, which is going to control to the master device. And also we have power supply section. We will go through uh, these pins uh, in the future slides. And we have a multi-purpose uh, digital input and output. The chipset has four control lines that can be configured as interrupt, debug, or to control the radio immediate peripherals. For example, uh, RF switch or TCXO oscillator. At least one of the digital input and output must be used for interrupt and the busy line is mandatory to ensure the host controller is ready to accept the commands. And we have pin to control uh, connect the oscillator. 32 MHz is a crystal which we normally use to run the RF section. We have RF section. We have four pins. The first pin is RFO, radio transmitter output and RFIN and RFIP are used to RF receiver input and another pin is VRPA is a regulated power amplifier supply and also we have uh, another pin for reset of the chipset which is going to control via the host device before we continue I highly recommend you to download the data sheet of the chipset. So you can easily go to this uh, URL and from the SimTag website, you can go to the data sheet and resources. From there, you can go to the data sheet section and you can easily download the data sheet of the chipset. So I, because the rest of the videos we are referring to this data sheet even in writing of the code and also configuration and so on. So please download the data sheet and then uh, we will go to the detail of the data sheet together. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, LoRa chipset is going to use SPI interface to communicate with the host device. So in this case, we need to configure SPI of the host device based on the configuration inside the LoRa chipset, then they can communicate. 
So three parameters are very important to configure before we use the chipset. So first is clock polarity, CPOL. And second is clock phase, CPHA, and also frame format. So clock a polarity device dictate whether a high or low signal marks a clock and the face tells the device when to sample the data so so to know this information we need to refer to the data sheet of the LoRa chipset okay if we open the data sheet if we go to the uh, section 8.2 we can see the information of the SPI interface so as I mentioned we need to look in for the clock polarity and clock phase so we can easily find this information in this section and also frame format the motor law and also the sec the last one we should know is that the speed the maximum speed of SPI uh, interface which is here is 16 megahertz. Based on the information from the data sheet, uh, we need to configure uh, the HAS device. So in this uh, series of videos, I'm using STM32 microcontroller and I'm using the STM32 Cube MX to configure the microcontroller. When we open the STM32 Cube MX, we can go to the SPI interface tab and we can set the parameters of this interface. So based on the LoRa chipset, I'm going to configure uh, the host device. So the frame uh, format is a motor now and also clock polarity is low and also clock phase is one edge which is uh, exactly what they mentioned in the data sheet of LoRa. And this is, uh, in this example, I'm set the frequency of the SPI in low frequency to make sure my host device can communicate. And after that, I can easily increase the frequency. So I can easily calculate the SPI frequency, clock, uh, MCU clock divided by prescaler in this example, I'm using 60 megahertz uh, uh, crystal for MCU divided by 64. Then uh, we can come up with the frequency of the SPI. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.